Boise, 20, Wyoming, 17. What a what a close, close spot for Craig Bowl and Bunch. Uh, I really thought that they were going to be able to pull this thing out. And, and alas, we were not. That's a do. I don't. I clicked on something for Aaron Judge. I don't even know what there. Team stats. Pull it up on the screen. All right. So the Broncos go on the road, um, and they did not look good in the first half. I will say that. Uh, Wyoming was strong in the first half. And in the second, Titus Wynn had an 83-yard touchdown run with 42 seconds left in the third quarter, which, by the way, I had. Yeah, Scotty jumps in. I took your advice on Wyoming plus 14. I had multiple bets here because this thing was at 12 and a half, and then Everybody realized that Andrew Peasley was not going to play, and it jumped out to like 14. Still took it at 14. Uh, at one point, it hit 14 and a half. It was immediately bought back down, but I hit it while it was at 14 and a half. So I had multiple bets on Wyoming on this one to be able to cover the 14, and I had just a sprinkle on the money line, but thought they might be able to butt. Uh, so I missed out on that one, but it still paid out well for all the other bets that I had on plus 12 and a half, plus 14, plus 14. Um, the Pokes got out to a 17 to 13 lead uh, late in that third quarter. They had a ton of momentum going into the fourth. Talon Green led the Broncos on an 11 play, 78 yard, six minute touchdown drive to take a 20 to 17 lead with seven minutes and 20 seconds left. Now, Wyoming did have three more chances here, um, but they went three and out on the first one. Uh, they went four plays and threw an interception on the second one. They forced a Boise fumble. And then they threw another interception on the very next play. Like it, Boise wins the Mountain Division here, um, and but props to Craig Bowl for having his guys prepared. I mean, incredible coaching job, especially with all the injuries. You know, the wide receiver was out. Uh, they had a cornerback out, a defensive tackle. They they lost their quarterback this week. But I, I will tell you, I was highly impressed with Clement, um, and not not in this game, obviously. But like, I think that he he could really be pretty good. The fact that Wyoming was in this game with Clemens going three of sixteen for thirty yards and three interceptions uh, just tells you what kind of game plan they had going. I mean, two hundred seventy eight yards rushing for Wyoming was awesome, awesome. Um, and the green kid for Boise State is awesome. Like, he's, I know he's only a freshman, but this dude is like six six. Uh, he can he can throw it on a rope. Uh, he can run. Like, he he looks like a, a gazelle running out there. It's the craziest thing because how long his legs are. But regardless, he is, uh, I don't know why I keep saying regardless. I've said that a lot. Either way, how's that? He he found a way to get his team a win, and that was highly impressive considering the circumstance because you don't just go into Laramie and get wins. That's not how this works. Craig Bowl has done a fantastic job there. Uh, again, I was impressed with both teams. Cheers to Boise State for getting the job done. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.